Hey guys, this is Jen and today I wanted to share with you my Mascara 101. I wanted to just talk about some of the basics of mascara and why they don't work for really short stick straight lashes and how to get really curled beautiful lashes that are going to stand up and be bright and expressive all day. So I wanted to share my personal tutorial of how I use a few different tools to get really beautiful amazing lashes and I wanted to talk about a few of my favorite products for mascaras as well. So if you want to see how to get this beautiful fluttery lash look, then keep watching. The first step is taking your lash curler. This is going to be your best friend. This will literally be the thing that makes the biggest difference in any straight lashes. If you're scared, don't be scared. You'll get used to it. I'm using the Shiseido Lash Curler. This is the old school version. I know they've updated it and it's slightly different, but Shiseido Shuomura. I've heard the Tarte Lash Curler is really great. Basically, Basically, you just need to find the one that will fit your eye shape the best. So as you can see, this one pretty well fits the shape of my eye in both width and the curviness amount. Tilt your head back a little so the lashes are sticking out more. I like to put the metal part against my eyelid here and then press a little bit upward so the lashes are lifted. Then without pinching the skin there, just grabbing onto the lashes, we're going to squeeze. I like to pump the lash curler a couple of times then hold it for a couple seconds. And then we're going to go about to the midway point of the lashes. We're going to repeat the same process. So squeeze a few times, hold it, and then we're going to go to the tips of the lashes. So if you curl from the base, curl here and in the middle and at the edge, it's going to give you a more natural curl than just an L-shaped curl by doing it once. I also like turning my lash curler toward my eye as I get higher and that'll help make the curl very curly. And then when I'm done, I go back to the base and curl it once more as close to the lash line as we can get. And that'll give you a really huge curly set of lashes. You might have your eyeliner smudge or rub off. So right after you do that, you should reapply the eyeliner in fill up any spaces that might have gone imperfect. But now we're going to go to the actual mascara application. You're going to want the blackest, driest formula of waterproof mascara you can find. And this is because waterproof versions tend to hold curl a lot better than just about any kind of mascara I've tried. Even if it says curling, it won't hold a curl. So trust me on this one, grab your waterproof mascara. So to apply, I'm just tilting my head back. And again, that helps the lashes to sit away from your eyelid. I start from the inner corners and I just take a back and forth motion up the lashes, going from as close to the base of the lash line as possible and wiggling the wand up. Now we're going to just move across the length of the lashes and do the same process. Make sure you get quite a lot of mascara at the base of the curl because this is what's going to hold the lashes up. You can also turn your wand sideways like this and brush them to give each clump a little more volume. You can always do more coats on the top lashes to give it even more volume, but I usually stick to just one or two. Next, we're going to move on to the lower lashes. For this, I'm going to tilt my head forward. And again, that's to make the skin of the lid fall away from the lashes themselves. I'm going to turn the one sideways again, starting at the inner corner. I'm going to wiggle and press down. For the lower lashes, I'm actually going to hold the wand here in place for a couple seconds before swiping all the way down. And that's going to help the lashes curl outward. Now this is totally an optional step, but I love using a heated lash curler, especially when I want my natural lashes to really pop. So I'm just taking this after I put on mascara and I'm just going to hold it against the lashes for about three seconds for each section. I'm gonna angle it a little bit like this. And I'm just holding it up against my lashes. Be really careful not to burn yourself though. It really makes a huge difference on the lower lashes. And this is great for giving a really dolly effect to your eyes. So this is the final eye with all of the mascara and all of the curling steps. Let's do a comparison with my other eye, which has no mascara. I did curl the lashes on top, but that's about it. And you can see there's such a drastic difference. Just to show you one more time, I'm going to take a drugstore mascara this time. This is the Maybelline The Fall Seas Black Drama Mascara. And I'm going to do my left eye. Okay, so now we're taking the heated lash curler again. I hope 
hope you guys found the tutorial half helpful, but I wanted to go into a few of the products that have really made the biggest difference in my own lashes. So the first one I wanted to talk about is the Lash Curler. It's literally one of my favorite things in my entire makeup bag and I use it every single day. So the one that's my favorite is this old school Shiseido eyelash curler. It fits my eye really well and what I like about it is it has a nice firm pad and that helps you give a lot of control and it also lifts up the lashes a lot easier without putting in too much effort or having to squeeze too hard. Next comes the actual mascara part. As I mentioned in the tutorial, it's really important to find a waterproof mascara if you are somebody who has has downward pointing stick straight lashes that won't hold its curl. The problem is if you use a regular very wet formula mascara, you curl your lashes and they go up. What happens is you put the wet mascara on top of it and it's kind of like when your hair gets wet when you go to the pool. It'll be like this and nice and beautiful for about half a second and then it'll just start to fall down. And that's the most depressing thing ever. Plus the mascara just makes it really weighed down. It doesn't look good. It just kind of gets into a clumpy, heavy mess that'll fall in front of your eyes. Nobody wants that. So what I found is that mascaras that have a drier formula in a waterproof version. That tends to hold the curl all day. So my personal favorite is this one right here. It's the Urban Decay Cannonball Mascara. This has been a favorite of mine for maybe the last year and a half or so. And it's made for surfers. So obviously it's going to withstand a lot of water and a lot of oils and it also withstands gravity. The one downfall is because it has the fibers, sometimes at the end of the day, I'll find a little bit of fallout of the fibers on my face here and there. The drugstore mascara I've been really enjoying lately that I picked up not too long ago is from Maybelline. That's the one I used on this eye. This is Maybelline the Falsies Volume Express Waterproof Black Drama Mascara. What a mouthful. But it comes in this container, it's this purple one. I don't know if I'm in love with the brush, but it it has a curve to it which is supposed to help give more curl and volume. But the formula itself is pretty good at holding a curl. It isn't too wet and it doesn't weigh your lashes down too much. I do find that it's slightly more voluminous but also a little bit chunkier than the Urban Decay version. When this gets old it gets kind of similar to this as well. So it's not the perfect mascara, but in between when I'm buying this one, because it's a little more pricey, this is not a bad substitute. Another drugstore option that might work well for people who have more lash hairs and want a little bit of a cleaner look is from CoverGirl. Their Lash Blast Mascara in the waterproof version. Make sure you get waterproof, not water resistant, waterproof. This is actually quite good. The one downfall is that it has such a fat brush, sometimes for people who have really flimsy lashes like me, you get more of a chance of getting the mascara on your skin. But otherwise, this is a wonderful mascara. It's actually the mascara I use on my clients when I'm putting makeup on other people. And it also gives a less clumpy look because of the actual shape of the brush. As far as luxury products go, there are a couple I wanted to mention and they're both from YSL. This is the Baby Doll Mascara, which is actually a non-waterproof, but it is the the most lash curl holding non-waterproof mascara I've ever tried and it works wonders on the lower lashes. I love it for lower lashes. But as far as holding curl goes, the Volume Effect Fossey waterproof version is actually quite nice. The brush wand is so thin and that gives you a lot of control, especially for getting lashes at the inner and outer corners. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you found this tutorial helpful and if you did, don't forget to give me a thumbs up and let me know down in the comments if you have a favorite mascara mascara or a trick that's really helped save your lashes. This is Jen and I will talk to you guys in my next video. Bye! And that'll give you a really huge curly eye. Eye? The first step is using your curling lash curler. That is not... I said it wrong so many times. Curling. Curling.